Hey yo, XO fam, y'all are the first to see the new wall and the new house and the new studio space, I guess you could say. This one was always in the very right corner, almost invisible, not invisible, but illegible in the old apartment. This one right here, I, it's a mandala. I just haven't unboxed it. It was in plastic and in bubble wrap for like two years during this like two years ago. This one right here, this was in the back upper right hand corner. It's also the same one that I got a tattoo of recently. This one right here, back left corner, if I'm not mistaken, in the old house. This one right here, wasn't on display. My stepmom drew this all fucked up at like a painting and drinking wine type thing. This one, immaculate piece of art. I was fucked up, but obviously my stroke game money, so this one looks dope. And then obviously this is the in the top left hand corner of the old apartment, every video. So that's the new setup. Oh, and then obviously, centerpiece is gonna be the 100,000 plaque. But that's the new setup, everybody. Yo, y'all are the first ones to view it, and we got some new unreleased weekend. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider becoming part of the family, clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now I know I was I was at work when this like mixtape, not even mixtape, like unreleased songs from Kissland on this like podcast, I think it. I don't even know what it is to be honest, but I was at work when it dropped. I still haven't listened to it. I saw that it was like 22 minutes almost. And I was like, how am I gonna break this down into separate videos? So I'll probably do the first two or three songs and then I'll break it off into a second video for the other ones because it looks like there might be two or three actual semi full length tracks where the other ones were just kind of like brainstorming ideas that never turned into songs from what I could tell based off the length. So I'm fucking excited. You know, any new EXO is good EXO, especially when it's unreleased and like we get to, it's rare that an artist will put out their ideas, like their very rough, rough ideas for what would eventually become songs. So it's dope that we get to hear it's dope that we get to hear these things from the weekend so we can see how basically how he makes music but follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel links are down in the description below and i'm putting my mind into Kissland mode which i personally believe is probably his top three albums that's all that i gotta say the weekend memento mori episode 9 Kissland edition unreleased songs let's get it <laughs> You are now listening to Memento Mori, Episode 9, Kissland Edition. A special thank you episode to the fans for showing so much love to Kissland this week. Yo, I, I wasn't, somebody, I think it was uh, in my DMs, Ali, she's like, yo, Kissland or like the hills, or I forgot what she said, Kissland or the hills, but supposedly the music videos from like the Kissland and Beauty Behind the Madness like era of the weekend were like trending way the fuck up there because people were going back and re-listening due to like the anniversary of I think Kissland. That's dope. And this is what I mean by like, you can hear like the rough sketches and the rough concept ideas of what would eventually become the songs because I knew those lyrics because they were the lyrics on Wonderlust, but in like this completely different pattern with like with lyrics that didn't make the cut. And it's dope. I love seeing creative process. And a few records and ideas that didn't make the album. Shout out Larry Jackson. Same love. I thought he was gonna say shout out Larry Bird. I'm like, what? Larry Bird part of the EXO fam? Apple Music. Let's go. I'm assuming this, yeah, yeah, I don't know if you can see it down here, but if, for those who haven't heard it or for those who have heard it but not on YouTube, it looks like YouTube sectioned off the individual sections of songs. So you could technically click on it and go, that, that's dope. I, I've never seen that before. But this is one of those nights demo. This one right here is the first kind of like rough, rough concept. <laughs> All 
right, before we get into the drop, which is I assume coming up, because that was three measures, those three bars. It sounds like Kiss Land, but it also doesn't sound like Kiss Land. It, it sounds like I understand why this version of the song didn't make the album. I can't remember any kind of like acoustic, especially something as something as noticeable as an acoustic guitar, because acoustic acoustic guitars are they provide like a sense of warmth and even the electronic sounds in the background that sound like those little rain droplets at different notes, even that is too warm for Kiss Land. Kiss Land was a dark, was like a very dark album and dark in like a good way, dark in the way that we expected from The Weeknd, from, you know, the mixtapes and trilogy. Kiss Land was him trying to keep that, but also trying to transition into like a more commercial sound. And this sound right here doesn't fit the vibe of Kiss Land. <laughs> I'm gonna visit the sky today. I'm gonna dance in the clouds today because you're gonna get high. This is what this is what a lot of his older music was about, and it sounds super rough. Like definitely not mix and master. Just like let's put this down so that we we don't forget this, and then we'll come back to it. This is what I mean by like seeing the creative process. That's tight. And don't think I don't recognize the whole theme behind like I'm gonna be dancing in the clouds and we'll find our love in the sky off of love in the sky. It all it all makes sense. I'm gonna dance in the clouds today. Make it rain, strip club. For everybody beneath us. For everybody beneath us. Time. Just cause they try. Doesn't mean they can be us. No, nobody can be us. Yo, it's dope. Like, it's not a full song, so I'm not ex you're not I'm not gonna get like a full on reaction out of it just because you can tell these are just rough cuts to lay the idea down and then flesh it out into whatever it would become. Especially like the dance in the clouds and make it rain for those below us. That didn't turn into anything, but the whole dancing in the clouds, he probably could have said that and then be like, yo, it's like love in the sky. I'll, I can teach you how to dream. You won't want to go back. And he said, we'll make it rain for all the people beneath us and as bad as they want to, like they can never be us, which is dope because during this time like he came in and basically created an entire sound that had net like that dark very moody very like ominous sound that that his that his music had like there was nothing before that it's rare 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 to hear like a legitimate like like snap or clap like that, I feel like on on weekend tracks. I feel like a lot of his tracks don't have that type of don't have that type of production style, especially in the Kissland album. Like it didn't have a lot of claps or like snare hits to to keep tempo. So that made all the songs feel kind of dreamy because there was no like there was nothing to keep your mind in track, like in pace for the tempo. Memento Mori. Girl, it's okay. You can call me by my real name. I kiss mm. your legs, I kiss your eyes, I call you angel face And I've been single for half a decade And I think I'm finally ready to settle down for like a bit until I hit the stage And you got money, that's the last <laughs> thing running through your mind Holy fuck, in that bass, dog. Oh shit, I was not ready for that. Cause again, like that's that's not the type of, my mind is in like in Kiss Land and that wasn't the type of traditional production that you would expect where the beat comes in and then the bass kicks in after the first four measures or eight measures depending on, depending on the producer. But yo, he said, I've been single for half a decade and I think I'm ready to settle down at least for a bit until I hit the stage. And then when I hit the stage and all these bitches screaming for me, I'm ready to be single once again. Cause I don't want to take you in and show you this entire world. And the next thing you know, you have no recollection of the life you had without me. You let that shit slip away. But yo, that bass drop, when that came in, son, I was not ready for that. And he said, it's okay, you can call me by my real name. Oh, God damn. Like imagine getting a girl and then she's like calling you the weekend. <laughs> Son. And I've been single for half a decade and I think I'm finally ready to settle down for like a bit until I hit the stage. And you got money, that's the last thing running through. <laughs> Holy fuck, I know that we just heard this, but yo, I, wa I wanna hear it again, fuck it. Fuck y'all. Nah, just kidding. But at the same time, not just kidding. What are you gonna do? Not wanna hear it again? Your exo, I know that you fucking, you don't care if I replay this thing 10 times. I kiss your eyes, I call you angel, angel face. And I've been single for half a decade and, and I think I'm finally ready, ready to settle down, down for like a bit until I hit the stage. And you got money, that's the last thing running through your mind. 
We always joke, but you can tell when you look me in my eyes That I want you, that I want you, that I want you, babe <laughs> That I want you, that I want you, that I want you, babe Come to Yo, you got money, so I know that's not the thing that's on your mind Like, you don't need my money, because you got your own And even though we joke and we party and that But you can tell in my eyes that when you're staring at them That I want you God damn And again, still production Even though I like this production a lot And I like, like this track a lot it still doesn't sound like it fits Kissland. The only thing, the only reason why if I feel like it might sound like it like it fits in that album is because of the rain that's in the back of the in the back of the track. Like you can hear the rain pour, and that's exactly what I think of every time I hear a Kissland track. I think of like green, I think of Tokyo, and I think of rain. I don't know why. Those those are the things that I think of. That's that's what I associate Kissland with. We always draw, but you can tell when you look me in my eyes that I want you, that I want you, that I want you, babe. That I want you, that I want you, that I want you, babe Come to my city, I like to say I'm living pretty nice 4,000 square feet at the trump above the city lights Ooh. I got no furniture, I just moved here, but we can throw it down Eviction number six from the Ritz, girl, I lost count of time God damn this is the type of lyrical writing that Abel did back in like, obviously his music is extremely like complex now lyrically, but back then it just had like a fucking certain swag to it. It just had like a certain confidence. It was very, it was like Drake. It's like this humble fucking brag, but we love it. The, the women love it. There's just like no way, there's no way you don't. He said, I like to say I'm living pretty nice. I'm in like the penthouse in the Trump Tower, like looking over the city lights. Holy fuck, that's a bar. Maybe not so much a bar anymore in 2020, but yo. You know, fuck it, it still goes hard in 2020. He said, I ain't got no furniture, I just moved in, but we could still throw it down. It's crazy that he was talking about this, like like he's always on the road and always on the go. Like that was one of the first things he said in the Kissland album. And still all these years later on After Hours, he's still talking about it. Like that's how busy of a man he's been since Kissland. Like Zero Edge Pool, I never dipped in it. Psh, yo, that, that, this track right here was crazy. production on this one right here this, this right here the first couple of seconds of this track this sounds more like what more what i envision whenever i think of kiss land kind of on beat but it's kind of off beat and then we have like all these different different textures to create all this ambiance and like the sound is going back and forth and the snares and the hi-hat and then we have things like moving left to right and then right to left like this is what i this is what i hear when i hear kiss land but even still it seems like it's almost too structured for what i expect from that album but like listen to how unstructured this instrumental is compared to the one that we just came off of He said, medicate my soul with your lips. So not like medicate my soul to make it better, like medicate my soul in terms of drug use so I can feel high off of your kiss. It's fucking crazy. And this one out of the three is definitely the most, the most similar to what I would expect to make the album. A little bit slower pace, a lot more reverb, a little bit of a darker and a more, and a more not sinister vibe. That's kind of like after hours, but more, more reverb and a much darker undertone. I need to forget that my love's at peace with another man who respects and treats, treats. You see, this is like, when I hear these lyrics, all I'm thinking of is, uh, is pretty, like the song Pretty off of Kiss Land. Like it's been 365 days since I've seen your face. And I heard you fucked another man. Finally, I knew this day would come. Like that's what this reminds me of. Like I need you to forget that my love's at peace with another man who treats her right. And we've all been through that before if you've been through a breakup, but Abel just has a way of putting it like, like he's in pain. So he's gonna be using these women in order to like fill that void temporarily. Cause that's all that he's really using them for. Legitimately using them. Eats her with the trust and honesty. She said, This is for your eyes, for your eyes only. This is for your This 
song's pace fits Kissland for sure. And this is the entire album I feel like of Kissland, especially like Learn How to Dream, Adaptation, Professional. I feel like all of these songs, they get you in this trance, like they, they almost hypnotize you. And this has that same like pacing. It's very like the same tempo over and over. So you kind of expect the way that he's gonna sing, you expect the, the moments he's gonna rhyme and what he's gonna say. Like when he said, honesty, I knew that that's, I knew that that was the rhyme coming. So it like puts you into this kind of like, puts you in this kind of trance. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, it's dope. But I just want to feel again, again. I just want to feel again. This fucking song is crazy. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And the problem with it is that I don't know if we're ever gonna get it like in single form where I can just listen to it. For your eyes, only make me come alive. I just want to, to breathe. I've been his runs, bro, like they're not like your typical runs, but they add so much more emotion into it. I just want to feel alive. Like I just want to breathe. God damn. To breathe, I've been up for days. I just want to sleep. To sleep. See? See how I knew the rhyme was coming already because of the tempo and the pace of the track? It's fucking tight. Please relieve the stress by me on my knees So heal me with your wound Give yourself to me he said, heal me, I just wanna sleep, I just wanna breathe, heal me with your womb. Heal me with your womb, give yourself to me. Like, God damn, that's fire. This is what I meant when I said that he literally uses these women to heal whatever kind of internal struggles and demons or whatever the fuck he's battling. He uses these women physically to battle that temporarily. That's crazy. Give yourself to me. so much better control of his voice now than he did back then. Like he was a good singer back then and obviously his voice is amazing. It always has been. That's one of the reasons why he got to the level of fame that he did because his voice is so unique. Closest thing we're probably ever gonna hear to Michael Jackson, but he has so much better control over his power and over like his delivery. She said this is for your eyes, for your eyes only. It'd be hard for me to say that any of these tracks should have made the album because they didn't make the album for a reason like this is a good track and it sounds like the album but it also sounds like it shouldn't be on the album and kissland is like such it's such a perfect album in the way that the and the songs that they chose to put on it and the way that they ordered the song listing on the on the album even if this is a good song it's almost like there's no place within the album to put it which is why it's not on there this is why you're and you hear like those reverse breaths like in the background like they, they float between ear to ear that's the that's that eerie shit that i'm talking about i don't know if y'all have listened for it or heard it but that shit is the that's the shit that gives me the kissland feel it's clean the instrumental like i said is just so hypnotizing No, 
there's there's a that there's a clear example of what I'm talking about. This hat, like all those noises right there after the piano, like those are the voices and everything that I hear in the background when he's singing. It's at a much lower subdued level, but like that's what provides that atmosphere. That's what that's what provides that ambiance. Like just listen to it. It just like floats all around your head. <laughs> See? This fucking sounds clean. And whatever they are, it's like, it's like, I don't know if it's his vocals, I don't know if it's different sounds and synthesizers and like, and cymbals like we're played in reverse, but that shit is, so it's, is what gives it the feel of Kissland. Yeah. We're gonna stop it right there for today because I wanna like break it up into like two videos or maybe three videos, probably just two videos. But pff, yeah, I, this is my first time hearing these because I hadn't heard them because one, I was at work when it came out and two, I didn't wanna listen to them without making a reaction because you know, that XO community, I love to be a part of it. So I love that other people, other people feel as strongly about Abel's music as I do. But yeah, out of the first like three or four, the intro and then like the track number one, like very small and then track number two, very small. And then this one, For Your Eyes. For Your Eyes is obviously the one that fits the most. And like I said, it kind of gives me that hypnotic and lulls me to sleep type vibe. So while I thought that that one might've fit the album the most, I also understand why it's not on the album. And also while I like that one for the album, the one that like caught me off guard and the one that I like the most is the one right before uh, Angel Face. That's the one that I like the most because it's so different in terms of like the production and the way that the beat comes in, that type of shit. And it's him bragging and kind of also saying at the same time he's broken, like it's so dope. But yo, that brings us to the end of today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below, helps the algorithm rhythm if you like what you see enough please consider subscribing because these long form breakdown videos is the way we do it around here so if you like that type of format then subscribe because it's every single video basically follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel links are down in the description below hit up the discord also down in the description below and that's pretty much all i got for you today ladies and gentlemen like i always say at the very end of all of my videos i appreciate your time and go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video Peace. Somebody told me it was pointless for me to come back into your arms. They say you fucked another man, finally. I knew this day would come, no. Oh.